Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? All right, no long intros this month. Um, I do just want to say thank you so much for being patient with me and getting these monthly readings out. It's been a doozy. All right, Aries, let's get into your pre-shuffle. So you have... Um, I want to say, Aries, that you have entered into a new space. You have the Page of Pentacles, you have the Moon, but you also have the Three of Cups. And I, I feel like you are, this is, this honestly feels like a new social group, a new social structure. This might be a new job. Um, maybe this is you going back to school, um, like, you know, starting because schools are starting up, you know, the semesters are starting up now, whether you are, uh, whether you're actually physically in classes or whether you are remotely learning. This could even be something for your children. If you have children that are, you know, have just recently started school. I just feel like with this energy of the Three of Cups, the Moon, and the Page of Pentacles, there's a new social circle that you're coming into that you're integrating with. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Five of Wands. So I feel like there's definitely some differing of opinion or there's definitely some uh, creative chaos or maybe even emotional chaos. Um, I, I, I just, I feel, Aries, I really feel like you're, you are working on establishing yourself within a new environment, within a new social group. Um, I mean, this might be a new relationship, a new like love relationship, but love is not what I'm picking up on here. It could just be if you do have someone that you are integrating with in terms like a, like a new romantic relationship, this is you coming to terms with the differences between the two of you, or maybe even the differences between your circle and their circle. This just feels like it's a communal friendship type thing. Under, I will say, though, underneath the Five of Wands, you do have the Six of Wands. And underneath the Six of Wands, you have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Which, to me, is saying, it's, okay, we understand there's this, this chaos right now. We're all trying to establish ourselves. We're all trying to, you know, show who we truly are and stake our claim and, and stand up for ourselves in some ways, sure. Um, and it might feel kind of hopeless at this point, but it's not, because you do have this victory here with the six of wands but your victory is going to come by you standing on your own and being the individual that you are and then at that point you will there will be some sort of offer ace of pentacles in which then you reach the 10 and everything's copacetic and cool right all right aries i like this for you i really do um it might be yeah it's a struggle the struggle is real right now okay but Anything worth doing is worth fighting for. Anything that's really worth having is worth fighting for. Maybe there's going to be, a, sure, there'll be a little bit of a struggle in the beginning, or maybe it's a struggle throughout, but if it's something you really truly want, then fight for it, right? And Aries, you know how to fight for things. You are no stranger to that, my dear. Broski, right? All right. Cool. All right, Aries. Let's get into this and see what else we have for you. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our month of September 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aries, five shuffles. Let's see what we've got for you here. One. Two. Four. And five. All right, let's cut the 
jack. Boop. All righty. Overall energy for you. Ooh, you've got the devil here, Aries. Okay, so Aries, the first thing that I'm feeling with this is ego battles. One-upmanship. Remember that five of wands that came out in the pre-shuffle? Ego battles, one-upmanship, extreme senses of competition. Um, there is a sense of insecurity here, Aries. And I don't think it's coming from you. I actually feel like it's coming from the people around you or this new circumstance that you're showing up in. Because you yourself are so headstrong and vibrant and you know yourself so well and you're just like... You're not allowed, you're not about to be swayed by anyone else's opinion. And that's intimidating. I really feel like you're coming off as very intimidating in this situation, but you're not trying to be. You're just being you. And thus we have these sorts of ego battles. I do feel like it's going to settle, fizzle out though. Once people start to really understand you and who you are and how you operate and they see that you're not trying to come for anybody, you're just trying to get the job done, do the damn thing, be a part of the group, whatever. I feel like that's going to change. Yep, look at that. Underneath the uh, devil, you have the world. Ooh, wow. And then the Wheel of Fortune. And then the Five of Cups. Interesting. Wow, Aries. Um, so, I mean... The obvious thing I want to say here is I really feel like you're putting an end to a toxic cycle. Uh, and now I want to say something is being made, something is me being made very clear to you about what it is you no longer want in terms of a certain circumstance or a certain relationship. Okay. I almost want to say something recently came to an end. That may be why you find yourself in this new reality. In this new space. Let's move forward because I'm not, let's, let's see what else we get here. Because that five of cups is kind of, is leaving me with a blank. But let's see. Um, and also, let me do this. I'm going to do this so you guys can see more of the table. Yeah, okay, that's better. All right, first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have... The Seven of Pentacles. Ah, ha, ha, wow. Um, first thing I heard when that came out was this is a long, hard one victory. Um, if you even want to call it that at this point. Ultimately, the victory is going to come through moving forward as you process this information. But I feel like there's a situation that you've been dealing with lately, Aries, in which some red flags came up, some toxicity, some sort of devil energy, some sort of codependency or something like that was made apparent to you. And you're, and, and I wanna say you're consciously bringing this to a close because you're, you're recognizing this for what it is or maybe you're learning through the contrast right now and juxtaposition that against what it is you've dealt with in the past, you're like, yeah, I gotta close this toxicity out here. Because it's not really getting me what I want, is what I'm feeling. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the Hermit. Okay. So also, I find, I, I find that there are some things that are showing up in your reality right now, Aries, that is causing you to go within. Causing you to understand where that toxicity could potentially lie within you. And then there's a big shift, there's a big change that's happening. And I want to say it's conscious. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading. Yeah, okay, there you go. Four of Swords, contemplation. Looking back on the sources of your problems is what I just heard. And and honestly, Aries, this is more about you finding the knowledge within, within, you finding the understanding within. I don't really think you're trying to change anything externally. I feel like you're really going, you're really going within here. You may even be taking some time for yourself. So maybe there is a new social group or something new that you're coming in, that you're kind of working on integrating right now. And recently something had been shown to you in which 
there is a great amount of toxicity or devil energy or maybe even some sort of codependency that now you're taking steps to work through on your own. Again, I don't feel like you're really trying to change anything in the external. I think whatever is being made apparent to you right now is something that you're working on internally, coming to terms with yourself, which is ultimately going to change how you approach this situation or how you approach this group of people or whatever. How you handle it, how you show up in the situation or circumstance. Four of Swords is coupled with, there you go, Justice Aries, okay? But this justice is dependent on you. And I really do think you understand that. It's Again, it's not about finding external validation or external justice. It's about seeing what's going on in your reality right now, what you're being faced with in your reality right now, and going within and figuring out what that means to you and how you want to proceed. Seven of Pentacles with the Hermit. Is this a harvest that I want? Or is this a harvest that I would like to continue growing or developing? No. Okay, well, if not, then what do I need to figure out within that will help me change up the game, switch up this harvest, and get, ultimately get the harvest that I'm looking for, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading, you have temperance, balance, harmony, and patience. This is all about balancing and integrating and harmonizing. This could very well be... Aries, this could actually very well be a process of you balancing and integrating parts of your shadow that need to be integrated with yourself. So you could definitely be going through maybe a little bit of a dark night of the soul, maybe, because the moon did come out in the beginning. So the moon can represent a dark night of the soul. Um, and maybe there's a social circle that you recently come into that has shown you some things about yourself or your reality or your belief systems belief system about yourself or your belief system about the nature of your, your surroundings and that kind of threw you into a little bit of a dark night of the soul but now you're integrating you're, you're you're healing you're balancing you're harmonizing only to emerge that much greater that much more integrated temperance is coupled with aha there you go the page that i'm sorry the knight of pentacles so both of these cards talk about patience and we all know how impatient an aries can be right myself included <laughs> so okay fine but your challenge right here right now aries is to not not take it too quickly you need i just heard you need to allow yourself some time to heal you've got to take this step by step piece by piece page by page day by day mile by mile and don't worry about losing anything the, the one of the strongest messages that messages that's coming through for you right now aries is don't worry about something or someone not being there when you're when you're done with this part of the process. Because ultimately, quite frankly, if they're not there when you're done, they weren't meant to have to have any more involvement in your situation. Period. So that doesn't really matter. What matters is this balancing and integrating process because this is what is bringing you justice in your life. This is what is closing out these toxic elements or the, whatever this is for you. Devil, the world, wheel of fortune. All three major arcanas in your first, in like your overall energy areas. This is a pretty, and actually, major arcana has come out every step of the way so far. Overall energy, first set, second set of surrounding energies, and your challenge, okay? So this is big. This is pretty big for you, Aries. What's that? Oh, I burned myself. Anyway, your challenge in the in the first half, closing message, oh, sorry, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading. Nine of Wands. Don't give up, Aries. Persevere. Follow through with this integration process. I, I, honestly, Aries, I want to tell you to focus more on following through with what is necessary for you, for your integration, rather than focusing on what is necessary for you to, like, be a part of this group or step back into the, into the, into the, the I don't know. You know what I mean? What's most important right now is you focus on following through with what you need to do and don't give up. Don't back down. You're almost there, I want to say, Aries. You're really almost there. It's almost like this feels like the home stretch for you. Nine of Wands is coupled with the King of Cups. So this is definitely a lesson. Uh, Spear keeps saying this is an integration process. Okay. But this is definitely a lesson in emotional maturity. 
Stay strong. Stay humble. Stay focused on what it is you need to do. The thing about the King of Cups is that you see, you see how rocky or choppy the waters are surrounding him? It doesn't matter. That's not going to sway him. He's staying firm and stable. All right? So that's really what you need right now, Aries. It's really what you need as you go through this integration process. And actually, what I want to tell you, Aries, is to stay truthful to yourself. Stand up for yourself. Show up for yourself, Aries, in this time of need and your integration process. Okay? Excellent. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to move over to Spirit Monthly Part 2, which is going to be found on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon yet, I highly recommend you get there. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. There's lots of great stuff there already, but there's going to be more in the future. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for those. All the information is in the description box below. You can just email me at divineconversations2711 at gmail.com and I will get you all set up. But with that said, if you're not moving over to part two, thank you so much for being here. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>